Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 23rd, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, looking at volcanoes, and as well, world weather. Starting out here, looking at a pretty active sun. Some turning out and earth-facing sunspots right now. Minor C-class flares occurring with these sunspots. Not much has been thwarted our way since the other day with that large CME in which it was impacting Earth over the past 24 hours. More details and views of that coming right up. But looking at outgoing imagery right here, the last 48 hours on the sun. Two Earth-facing sunspots and two that are turning away. And a pretty quiet cresting limb right now incoming. Looking at multi-spectrum, you can see the minor C-class flares firing off over the past 36 to 48 hours as we've had a pretty busy sun. And you can see all that activity swirling around right-hand side outgoing as well in the southwest bottom left region here. Pretty active region, solar filaments swirling away from the surface. Amazing imagery here, Solar Dynamics Observatory, as well here at 193 angstrom, showing the turning out now coronal holes. So this space weather event that we had is encoupled with the coronal hole wind stream. So it's creating quite an event. Solar X-ray flux remains in B range right now. Geomagnetic activity bumped up to KP5 overnight, and as, as it was yesterday during the 22nd. Having a look here at real-time solar winds, these solar winds were jacked up and pounding Earth at 682 kilometers per second today. Wow, overnight, sorry, 682 kilometers per second, but you can see we were really affected by this solar wind event. Schumann residence for today, healthy power, a power of 63 and yesterday was up to almost 78, amplitude of 63, quality of 10, power 41. And then we're going to have a look here at our magnetosphere. This is our solar winds, just showing how our planet is holding out from all of these very fast and incoming solar winds, packed with density bunches and as well some pretty warm temperatures. Looking at the pressure planes here, so this is the pressure on our planet from the solar winds. Normally we're being hit by about 200, 250 kilometers per second. It was up to 680. Looking at Aurora forecast, we are expecting some more northern lights tonight. That's right into the 23rd. right around 11 and then continuing on to the other side of the planet so probability of aurora is quite possible over 50 to 60 percent especially through northern alberta saskatchewan bc now let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours actually we're going to throw the last three days in here as i have not given an update but we are here now Looking at our most recent, a 5.6, pretty sizable in Iran. That's the largest the last 24 hours. But we had some pretty deep earthquakes to report since yesterday. And now let's give a look here at the last three days for earthquakes. Minor activity down into Mozambique, 4.1 there. Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a 5.1 earthquake today. Quiet through the Caribbean plate, quiet through South America the last three days. Increased seismicity here through White City, New Mexico. And it started yesterday, or sorry, two days ago with a 4.9. And that has continued now for the past couple days. California, largest through the region, seeing Oroville, East California. 4.2 earthquake, and that occurred today. Minor activity still rumbling through Alaska. And now let's get to the West Pacific here, Fiji. New Caledonia, Vanuatu, 
527 kilometer depth there. Kermadec Islands, 298. And then Fiji, the VUCA, Fiji, 620 kilometer depth. That's the deepest we've seen in quite some time as well. Fiji, just three major earthquakes between 530 and 620 kilometer depths. Today, 5.5 there, Vanuatu. Seeing activity here through Indonesia, just west of Luatolo. 5.4 earthquakes ringing out there, followed by a 4.7. And as well, a 5.9 sizable here reported Myanmar. That was two days ago. Quiet through Taiwan, South China Sea. And as well, Japan. We haven't seen a major quake there in quite some time. So heads up. Stay aware and prepared. We're going through a lull here. Just wait until that pressure releases off of our planet from the solar winds. Have a quick look here at the last seven days across the world. Earthquakes. I want to give you all a big shout out here. Thank you so much for watching and as well subscribing to daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Much love and I appreciate all of the memberships as well as the donations and of course all the love and chats in the live streams. Feel free to pop by anytime. You can see these earthquakes live. And we've got quite a situation here developing across the United States again in an Idaho. The Moose Fire has now tripled its size. You can see it here, satellite imagery over Idaho. This was the same fire that I reported the other day. There's also another large one, California. This is satellite imagery from yesterday. Today it is still pumping out of there, but this Moose Fire has burned almost 12,000 hectares and it is 0% contained. So heads up, stay safe and everybody to the region, strong west winds. And you can see here just blowing all of that smoke northeastwards <clears throat> into Montana. And another fire just south of there brewing up. So Idaho is a hot spot and of course very dry. But amazing satellite imagery here showing this large fire burning 12,000 hectares of land. And the thing's out of control. And then we've got another fire here burning down in California towards Yosemite, southwest of Yosemite. Looking at satellite imagery, watching it blow up right there. That is the Oak Fire already burning 2,700 hectares of land, 0% contained. And of course, we've got many fires burning across the world. Alerts, fire hazards are put out on the live streams, so feel free to come in anytime and check up on your area. Now let's get to weather here. The next few days forecast here for United States and Canada and around the world. We're going to start out here with some intense weather as we had some Chicago, uh, tornado warnings heading through Chicago with those two cold fronts coming out of Colorado. And as well, we've got that big one there coming out of the Hudson Bay. But watch for extreme weather to break out across Ontario here into Sunday. And hopefully we actually get some rain and it sticks a little bit or maybe soaks into the ground, but we are still very dry. But looks like Saturday into Sunday, watch for this system to merge with that big low that was heading over the Hudson Bay. So Colorado low heading up and merging with that low. And watch for extreme weather to break out here across Quebec and as well East Atlantic provinces. Overlooking the next few days across the prairies and BC, pretty dry, huge high pressure ridge off the coast there. Most of the lows are going to Alaska. And then these systems are coming up over BC and down through Alberta. So the next low doesn't come until possibly Monday, forming through the Alberta border in Saskatchewan. 
But yeah, the big story here will be the extreme weather heading through Ontario and northeastwards into Quebec, and of course through the United States all through northeastern province or northeastern states. No major tropical systems to report in the Gulf. Daily evaporation rains through Mexico. We do have one tropical depression here developing. Looks like by Wednesday it will be a full-blown hurricane, but not affecting land mass. Nothing brewing through the Atlantic. No major systems heading into Africa this week. Mostly daily evaporation rains watching coastal regions to the west for possible tropical system developing. And then not much of a relief coming here for Europe either. Low pressure center over the United Kingdom. But other than that, no major systems coming your way. A couple fronts bringing scattered showers through central parts. Overlooking India, daily rains continue. But through parts of Kuwait and Iran, you do have quite a big system coming in to the Sea of Oman, I believe that's what it is. Daily evaporation rains through Southeast Asia, Malaysia, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea drying out, China drying out. No major typhoons coming your way. Pretty strong systems will be heading into parts of Kamchatka this week and as well parts of Eastern Russia, hopefully dousing out some of those fires that are heading through Eastern Russia. Overlooking Australia, you've got rain heading in to southeastern parts of Victoria. That is Sunday and into Monday. And as well, New Zealand's got a pretty big system on your doorstep heading into Monday and Tuesday. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. Today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.